Okay, everybody, I was rarely this hype for an ESL Open Cup semi-final than I am now. It is Johnny Cage versus Foggy. Johnny on his birthday making a splash in this cup. And he's facing, like, basically the Hawk replacement. Hawk's not playing today. And so we get this 23-year-old Johnny Cage versus Foggy. Happy versus Foggy was set in stone for a long time in these ESL Cups, but apparently that is not the case. It's a new dawn, it's a new age, and we got this. Fog, upper left-hand side, not the perfect position for this very hero, but still going for a Warden a and Johnny countering this with the Mountain King. So, engine of war already in position, no footman there yet, so I wonder, Warden should be able to finish this, right? What a fun stream today. Thank you, man. Thank you. Enjoy your day off. Okay, do you guys remember what happened last time they played here? Do you guys remember the 1 million tanks and Foggy trying to hide buildings everywhere? And then... Oh, Johnny steals the Shadow Priest. That's already a nice little steal right there. But man, it was just epic. Bears trying to defend their buildings. Tanks are coming in. We need more than 1,700 viewers for this. Like, this is literal hype. Shadow Priest stays alive, will spend lots of his mana here. Parry up also, not that great. Shadow Priest run. Oh, that's level 2 right there. Expensive, but it's okay. And again, Johnny going for a fast expansion as well with the Mountain King. Very hurt, actually. Not even level 2 yet. Just trying to Stormbolt a couple of plebs. And I wonder, for the human players, this feels like a little ineffective. Is that due to the Shadow Priest that he's missing resource right now? Is that a mismanage or is that just how things are? So level 1 MK with a couple of footmen pressuring the Warden to keep her from level 3. Foggy one of the best Warden players, I would say top 2 Warden players. A player's forces are under attack. MK trying to find some steals. Berserker might be up. Oh wow, now that we got this overlay, I don't even see it anymore. Ah, uh, myself anymore. That's a good fix. Uh, or a good, uh, a good update that I have to remember. Get rid of black box and bottom right. Okay, expo it is. A player's forces are under attack. But man, he needs levels. Foggy not expanding. Going for hunts now. Wonder how aggressive he's gonna play this. He's still tier one, double engine of war, was creeping a little bit here. I don't think he wants to play a tank game here. No, 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 no. So, if Johnny sees this, is Clap better than Bash against Hunts? Well, first of all, he has to survive. Doesn't look like this guy is wearing boots, huh? Foggy still, lots of experience. Can he even staff? Trying to create some distance, it's nighttime. Foggy will probably lose track, but fighting hunts with and mercs with footmen, not the easiest task. Wait, see? Ooh, that was close. It's a five minute level one MK. But Shadow Priest number two. Foggy is also not really taking off, right? Still level 2. Level 3 is where trouble starts, really. And then... Oh, Shadow Priest gets Shadow Struck. And that's it. Precisely level 3. AP is coming, okay. Foggy doesn't want to spend energy on a long game. He needs some... He needs to be fresh for Happy in the Grand Final, I guess. Blacksmith, double rack, still tier one, mass rifles to defend this. But yeah, Mountain King is very hurt. No guard tower. Don't even think there's a lumber mill, to be honest. 
No health. And these hunts will just tear the footman apart. He has to hold on somehow. There's a lot of storm bolt that will help. But of course, a lot of pressure here. Foggy solid. Both are tier one, but rifles will wreck hunts in the long run. Oh, nice fan of knives. Fan of nice. Haha. <laughs> This Berserker would be a huge kill because it's level 2, but he can't reach Foggy's Micro on point as it seems. And again, only regen over time. No tier 2, no potions. And this looks like game. But the first rifles are coming in as well. The first two at least. He just has to hold on, keep on mining. That's all it takes. And maybe get, you know, a couple of levels. Because the Warden is two levels ahead. So whoever says Mountain King hard counters Warden, not like this. Shut down. Tower about to go down. Last time Johnny Cage got experience is when he left this expansion. <laughs> Sick! Foggy, are you in great shape or what? Going for mercs? Didn't break this expo, but there's no mining. Workers all retreating. But okay, Johnny Cage still alive. Somehow. Not sure how, but Foggy is also on the way to tier 2, transitioning out of hunts, or should be transitioning out of hunts. There's not enough damage yet. Also the perfect amount of targets. A town of players forces are under attack. Like I'm genuinely curious if Foggy lost the unit yet. Okay, this is level 2, isn't it? Finally! 8 minutes, 50 seconds. It's just... Wow. A uh, great game by Foggy. No chance for Johnny Cage. Maybe he was a little surprised by the warden. Maybe he just misused the militia early or, or didn't creep it perfectly. Foggy countered this so hard, and I wonder... Um, don't you, like... If there's... If there's an elf on the left-hand side, don't you have to punish it? You can't really allow the Warden... ...to go crazy like this. Watching while quote unquote working. I like it. So I hope that Johnny brings in the fight. We're going to Tight Hunters now. <laughs> How is he still level one? Good question. I feel like, like he had to, or he wanted to, invest a lot of resources into mass rifles and never use the militia to creep. He had to... Like, like, would level 2 change so much? I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, this was a disaster of a game. This can only go better for Johnny from here on out, but... He's facing Foggy, who is one of the best Night of First Human player in the freaking world. So let's see what the plan B is. Foggy can still do the same, I feel. He can go Warden here, he showed it before.
could also play Keeper. Why is Neo always looking around like he's managing a space station? I am the captain of the ISS. It took you a while to figure it out. But this is what it is. Slowing down the expo for the Shadow Priest was a mistake. Yeah, I agree. But man, if he gets the Shadow Priest, it makes everything a lot easier. It was kind of close. So we're going for a Keeper. We're going for an Archmage. We go into normal territory again. Yeah, uh, the real reason why I'm looking around like crazy is because I have four screens and I have to manage chat, stream, OBS, Warcraft, you know. Life is good with four screens. The player's forces are under attack. Oh, you talk about food while I'm super mega uber hungry? Why are you torturing me like this? Korean fried chicken sounds fantastic, but I don't have a great delivery Korean here in Hamburg, unfortunately. If you guys know a great delivery Korean, then uh, let me know. There's a good Korean barbecue place around the corner. But I don't think they deliver. Right, I think this is gonna be a faster level 2 than before. <laughs> fair, fair, fair to say, I think. <laughs> In just a second. But, on the same, same side, this is the same for Foggy as well. That's level 2 right away. Still having these spikes here. That's kind of annoying. A player's forces are under attack. And that is a fast level too. That is a way better inventory as well. And Foggy, once again, rushing into the base. He's mass hunt pushing as well. He really doesn't want to go into these long and winding games against Johnny Cage anymore. That's okay, let's get done with this. I want my final against happy. This is where the real challenge begins. A player's forces are under attack. Ooh, but Expo. That's tough to hold against mass hunts. I feel like this is becoming more and more a standard strategy. Yo, thank you, Grio or Gree00 for the sub. Um, 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 um. It, it's becoming more and more of a thing to go mass hunts against human. As they tend to expand, like they almost always expand. And it's crazy strong. As I said plenty of times, I think it's unholdable and concealed. Here it seems a little more doable. But APs are coming already. Ancient is in a good position. Keeper is away now, but there's no tower yet. Pizza from La Patina. We have a voucher. <laughs> No, man, I don't even know if I can order from there. So, Johnny Cage must be aware of this now. But is there anything he can do? Like, he's running into another Entangle. He's keeping the... KOTG away from level 3, which is good, but Wisps are coming. He's trying to tower up, but I don't think that will be in time. A player's forces are under attack. Waterman has got a carry here, but. Ooh, it's looking rough. Feels like Foggy drew the right uh, conclusions after their last battle. 
at DreamHack Fall. Just don't let him go late. Don't give the human time. Crack the expo. Don't counter expand. But the biggest problem is the tower, I think. And now mana. Man, the inventory is perfect. Militia takes care of the tower. That buys a lot more time. As the keeper is still at level 3. Oh, the deny! Sick! Can you go for another? No. But it's still at level 3. That water mental will be if he's not denying it. Oh my! But there's six, uh, five hunters now. Needs mass repair. Has to run away from that entangle. The repair is looking good. And the runaway as well. But the, it's just pressure rising. How long? Is it two thirds? Now there's level three. Uh, oh man, this is so rough. Holding on for the next water elemental. That could be a double kill then. Militia over and over again. Did anybody tech to tier two in this series? No, right? Foggy was close, but I don't think he finished it. Oh, the keeper is surrounded. Staff damage is not enough, but now he's gone. And the tower is up. Johnny holds this for now. And Forky is stuck on one base Player mass hunt. And there's more and more solutions for Johnny Cage against this Archmage damage. Incredible. A little bit of a Sim City here to wall off, going into rifles. I like that as well. Is he on two racks? No, but he's tacking. Needs more time though. A little bit more time. Just hang in there. Need to suffer a little more. Dude, if he gets level 4 with level 2 aura, that's so insane. But here we go. One kill at least. No deny yet. I feel like the denies have become more and more and more important. You will see that in the grand final. It doesn't really matter who's playing against two, but Happy just brought it to the next level. There's so many kills. Oh, how would you like to have a heal scroll now? These two towers were just great. Can he reach these hunts? Can he kill the hunts? <sighs> Johnny Cage is reacting so well to this. It doesn't feel like he's under pressure. But this... Like, what do you do now? Yeah, heal scroll immediately. But this might not even be enough. That's one kill a little too late. Scroll protection in as well. But... Johnny has another water elemental very, very, very soon. And once the protection scroll wears off, kinda easy. And rifles are coming as well for increased piercing damage. Yeah, guys, it's laggy, I know. I'm sorry. It's my connection to some of the servers of War 3 Champions, I think. Good play by Foggy though, to keep so many hunts alive and to snipe the important units like Water Elementals and Riflemen. And Foggy's still determined to do this. With more APs now, with a triple kill. But Johnny brings the heat in adding a panda. How amazing he keeps the water elementals away from the rest of the army. But now, let's burn these hunts. One is close to be down. Foggy lost. I don't think Foggy lost five units this series. This might change in this fight. But apart from that, he seems to be in tremendous shape. Johnny Cage, 1,000 gold. And the panda, he's just dead. Level 5. Isn't that amazing? 
How is he winning this with mass hunts again? By saving 95% of his units, I guess. It's again a two level difference. Feels like Foggy's shape is pretty much peaking prior to Dreamhack. He seems very, very well prepared. He's grinding like a madman as well. A player's forces are under attack. But the barracks is still up and the panda is back and Johnny has 1,200 gold to spare while Foggy is still on tier 1. Maybe there's one more shot for Foggy to push? But how? He has no resources. Johnny is spending his stuff now, getting casters in. I think one slow is a death sentence. Johnny supply block. No, he's not. Long rifles makes things easier. Workshop is coming. Yeah, then you can't use shadow melt anymore. And there's mortars, of course. So was this enough suffering? Can he break the mass hunts? Fuck, he's just refusing to tech. Good split so far, but of course he can't do damage anymore. But I think it's Rifles Galore now. Finally level 2. And this means level 2 aura. Uh, level 4. Level 2 aura. More mana. More water mantles. More piercing damage. Fewer hunts. In a very, very short time. I think Foggy has to realize that this is not his game anymore. And Johnny Cage. What a defense. This was... This was looking to be very, very frustrating for him. Because it was so close. Oh, F. <laughs> because he couldn't get any kills. Because Foggy saved so much. Because he was running away when leveled so far. But he knew it's just tier one. Just so you wait. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving on to the new autumn leaves. Mm. Scripture, you wonderful, wonderful soul. Thank you for the 10 month resub. You think Johnny would have countered mass hunts on CH? Never. Never. Nobody can do that. And now we are moving on to Autumn Leaves 2.0, my premiere, to cast this. If you guys remember, this was also the final map between these two at DreamHack. And it was one of the craziest, craziest tower pushes that we've seen in a long time. Thank you, Static X, for the sub. The you guys are, are amazing. Attack. Thank you for appreciating what we do here. Even though it's spiky and laggy, but it's still hype. It's still hype. So, Autumn Leaves 2.0. What did change? We'll see it a little more once the Fog of War moves away, but this position here is a little more open. This camp here has changed. One of the bigger changes is that there's a pond now. You might remember human cutting holes into this forest here and pushing onto the night elf bay uh, natural expansion a thing of the past of course this means that the creep spot that was here is now here and the middle was changed a little bit as well we'll talk about everything once we see it we have a keeper again who's more used to the new autumn leaves is it johnny is it foggy It is an interesting engine of war position. Not at the green. 
Not at the shop. And we'll foggy do this mass expo again. Archmage vs. Keeper, round two. So this camp is basically the, the same. Are under Johnny scouting, Foggy scouting. Let's go, everybody. First blood going to Foggy as so often. Spliffy, thank you for the sub. Creeps the night engine of war. What did I miss? What? 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 Really? A did I miss this? Hey, okay. Um, so this creep camp has changed as well. There's now a warden that might help against heroes with summons that I can't creep it too easy. Detonate. Big one. But can't prevent level two anymore. Question is one base or two base? Yo, peanut butter pancakes, thank you for providing us with predictions. So yeah, that harass didn't do too much. Johnny Cage got his objective, that's level 2. Foggy gets the information that there's gonna be an expansion now. And... There you see it, the little pond here! Still a small camp. Did we see the new middle already? Okay. There is no wolf anymore. So you can't lure it out too quickly, too easy. These cams were ridiculously easy to just snipe the item. That has changed. But okay, the harassed pendulum swings back. And oh my god, if Johnny gets the last hit here. Oh, and he did! And the item, absolute utter mega disaster for Foggy. Ooh, is this the grand final slipping away? Johnny Cage on his birthday going all the way from zero to hero. Trying to get mercs, but... I don't think that's possible anymore. Militia say hello, so there's not even really a harass. Water Elemental was parked there as well. Did that work with the mercs? Yes, it did. Okay, piercing damage. Off we go. But the Shadow Priest is to take care of the of the Keeper pretty much right away and Footmen do what Footmen do best and that is kill or destroy Moonwells. And I think that's the bigger asset here. As long as the Town Hall eventually comes up, that's totally fine. Rebuilding Moonwells, but these are so expensive. Number two, down. Number three, not looking healthy. Thank you, Cammy. New round of militia. Yeah, that finally feeds level two, but only now do we get tree and how much with tree and of health than this. It's just going for the tree. Did I desync with my game? Fuck, he's not responding to this at all. He's teching. Now there's the repair. But okay, Johnny Cage. He's finishing this expo. Like he got what he wanted. And Foggy. That was so expensive. And the repair won't help. What the hell? Level... Oh, keeper. Dan Mahoney, thank you for the sub. We got the fend even against this super early. Okay, tree survives. Foggy... Is still alive. But for how much longer, man? Johnny Cage has turned it up to 11 and is defeating him with Archmage Footman. Naga second. But that is, like, sometimes you pick a Naga to finish a game. This time it's to survive. To have, like, the best thing at this very moment. And I think that's where the Naga really, really thrives. Straight up, arrival on tier 2, the damage here. Okay.
Foggy. Is he trying to counter expand? I don't think so. He had to invest way too much into new moon worlds. Johnny's tacking. Second Rex. Yeah, yeah, maybe the mass hunt push on tide hunters will cost him. A town is under siege. Well, at least the map. Oh no, Foggy had no hunters all for the entire time. Wow, maybe he was in need of resources or whatever. He, he was very low on wisps, but even then. Bye bye Naga. Johnny Cage is winning with Archmage Footman only. A player's forces are under attack. No need for more. He's on two bases, of course, but there's no TP anymore. Archmage got the boots. This game. A town is under siege. Oh, one more. GG. Holy smokes, did Foggy get destroyed on this map? Wreck. How did this series turn from Foggy is not losing a single unit on Echo Owls to Johnny Cage is destroying Foggy with Archmage and Footman? How? What happened? The momentum completely shifted after he held that push on um, on tight hunters that's really impressive so is this uh, I don't remember Thank you, Toxie, for reaching out, man. That's so cool. Um, yo, absolutely destroyed. Absolutely nothing but destruction. So, if you start the game by creeps kill your engine of war, this is what it looks like. Yeah, but. I thought this gonna be less one-sided, to be honest. I think game, like, of, of course the Foggy doesn't do these mistakes, but... How did this... How did Foggy's play change from... I'm owning Echo Owls to a degree where you are having a hard time reaching level 2, to... I am killing... Like, the creeps are killing my tree. I don't know if he... That is a change to the map, and he didn't know, but I don't know, guys. Does this mean we're getting Johnny Cage was happy? Man, it's like the DreamHack freaking finals already. Don't have a result from Sonic and Happy yet. Pale Horse, thank you for the 213, sir. Yeah, happy versus Johnny Cage it is, everybody. We're going to a tiny, uh, tiny little break, and then it is time for Happy versus Johnny Cage for the first time in I can't remember. Be right back. This is freaking hype. Tell your friends that this is happening. <laughs> 